These pastors and preachers can't teach you this book. Right. That's why we still in the condition we're in right now. Jeez. Because why? Because we've been following lies. We've been following a false God, a false Christ. We've been following the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. That's what we've been doing for the last 400 years. And guess what? Today is a new day. Bring it out. We can read now, Master. That's right. We can read now. We got to recognize who our enemy is and stop being cowards afraid to say who the enemy is. Right. You understand? It ain't your brother. It ain't your brother because he treats you wrong. Guess what? We got an enemy that been putting us in bondage for 400 years. Right. That gives us no justice, no peace. Right. He don't give a damn how much you march up and down that street. As long as you stay an African American, as long as you stay a Christian, he know he's going to rule over you to the end of time. Right. But the only thing that's going to free you is the truth. That you're an Israelite. Come back to your true nationality. Come back to your true God. Right. And guess what? He will hear your prayers and he will set you free and he will deliver your enemies to the just punishment that they deserve. That's right. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, uh -huh. but thou shalt not enjoy them. Why are we going to enjoy our children? For they shall go into captivity. What happened to our children? They shall go into captivity. Mm. All thy trees and... Now, now give me verse 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Uh -huh. And thine eyes shall look and fell with longing for them all the day long. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Is that not what happened to us? You remember the movie Roots? Mm -hmm. You remember oh, yeah. when they came and took her children, saw the children in captivity? Yeah. And she was crying. Yeah. That's how they saw her children in slavery. There was no might in our hands. Right now, if they come and DSS come and take your kids mm -hmm. and say, hey, we put your kids in the system, what might do you got? Yeah. None. There still ain't no might in our hands. Mm. Because what? We turned our back from the Lord. You understand? We turned our back from the God of this Bible. What? The Black Messiah. That's right. They don't want to serve the Black Messiah. I'm, I, our Messiah is so great, they had to whitewash him and give you a white. Bring it out. They stole our Christ. Right. Guess what? Take him back. Take him back. That's right. Take your culture back. Take your nationality back. Right. They stole your name. Right. They stole your name, they stole your heritage. Yeah. They claim the land that's ours as for them. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Uh-huh. A proverb. He said we will become astonishment. Do y'all watch World Star Hip Hop? You ever watch World Star Hip Hop, brother? Hey, all you gotta do is put World Star Hip Hop, and you're gonna be astonished at the niggerdom that you see. Because all you see is the foolery of our people. Teach! Yeah, I'm going to tell you what. Guess what? Hang around long enough, you're going to be astonished at the people that walk by. Bring right. it out! Our women are dressing like hoes. Right. Why? Our men are faggoted. Walking around with smoke tight jeans than women wear. Something like that. Hanging half off their butt. Bunch of sodomites. You understand? We're an astonishment to the world now. They look at us and just shake their heads. And look at these niggas. That's what they do. I'm astonished at our own people. I look at our people and say, damn. And some states it ain't even worse for. Right. Read it from the top again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. Uh-huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Yeah, astonishment. It's astonishment to see a woman weighing about 250, 300 pounds walking around with some spandex on. No modesty. That's an astonishment. You like, damn, did nobody tell you how you look? Why are you coming out the door like this? Sometimes you're just ashamed of what you see in your people. Read. A proverb. A proverb. You know what I'm saying? You know, here's a proverb. Black people love chicken and watermelon. Oh, why I say. Read. And a byword. A what? A byword. A byword. A byword is something that's not your God-given name. Like African-American. You know, it's an insult to call you an African-American. Because Africa is named after a white man named Leo Scipio Africanus, and um, America is named after another white man named America Van Fusi. Right. So guess what? Those are insults. You are from the tribe of Israel, a nation of Jews, I mean, from the tribe of Judah. That's the same tribe that Christ come from. Right. David, King Solomon. We are royalty on this earth. 
God, did you know that God called you a God on this earth? Did you know that? You say again? We are all God. We is who? The black man. The black man, you damn right we all God. That's right. But guess what? Are we living like one? So how do we come back to it? How about this? We come back to God's law. Give me that. I'm going to show you that with God's laws. Read. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are gods. God said, what is the black man saying, Native American Indian? Ye are gods. We gods on this earth. That's right. Black man, you are God on this earth. Right. So when you gonna start acting like it? Mm. When you gonna claim your uh, rulership back on this earth? When you gonna stop playing cool for the white man? When you gonna become that God that you was meant to be? Right. Read. Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. When you are the children of the Most High, everybody ain't the damn children of God. You ain't no child of God, and you gonna put his children in slavery? How you gonna look at them and say they God's children too? Right. They raping, robbing, murdering, killing our people. But we still gonna say they the children of God? Right. Let's find out who the children of God is. Give me Joel 2 and 27. Cause guess what? He only has one children. That's the Native American, the Spanish, Af Af African American. Guess what? We are the children of Israel. That's right. We make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's who his children is. Everyone is not the child of God. Right, read. Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. Uh huh. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. He said, You're going to know that he's in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God. He's the Lord your God. That's possessive. Read. And none else. And what? And none else. And what? And none else. Guess what? He's only your God. He's only your God. And guess what? This Bible is only meant for you. Right. It wasn't meant for the other nations. They don't took our history and they don't set their created religions around it to get you to follow and worship them. Wait. Give me that uh, Psalms 147 verse 19. This book is for you. Bring it out. Guess what? The only people that can break this Bible down and give you the interpretation of it is Israelites that keep God's laws. These pastors and preachers can't teach you this book. Right. That's why we're still in the condition we're in right now. Jeez. Because why? Because we've been following lies. We've been following a false God, a false Christ. We've been following the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. That's what we've been doing for the last 400 years. And guess what? Today is a new day. Bring it out. We can read now, Master. That's right. We can read now. The slave is woken up. Read. Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Jacob is our forefather. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. That's what? He gave the law, statutes, and commandments to the children of Israel. Read. He hath not dealt so with any nation. He ain't never dealt with all the nations. Read. And as for his judgments, uh -huh. they, for the judgments for breaking his laws and commandments, they have not known them. They ain't never knew the judgments of God. But we do. Look around you. We're in the ghettos. Right. We last high first fire. Right. 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 We can shut down in the streets. Look at our baby mamas. They just raising children by themselves. Look at our men. They don't lost their masculinity. Right. They won't stand up for their black men. That was a black woman. They won't stand up for their children. Right. We are following up under the curses of God. We are following up under the punishment of God for being disobedient. Read. Praise ye the Lord. Read it from the top again. Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Uh-huh. His statutes and his command his judgments unto Israel. Read. He hath not dealt so with any nation. He ain't never dealt with the other nations. Never dealt with the other nations. Read. And as for his judgments, uh -huh. they have not known them. Read. Praise ye the Lord. He said, praise the Lord for that. Praise the Lord for that. Because guess what? That's our God. Right. That's our God. That's our salvation. All we got to do is come back to him. That's how much he loves you. He gave his only son for you. His son died for you. Right. He didn't die for everybody else. He died for the nation of Israel. That's right. To bring them back to the covenant. Everything in this Bible belongs to you. Everything, the promises, the, uh, the kingdom belongs right. to you. Guess what? All you got to do is take it. That's all you got to do is take it. The Most High is calling you, black man, to rise up, to raise yourself out of these conditions. Give me that Psalms 94, 16. He's calling you. Are you going to listen? Today is your wake-up call. 
you hearing the word of God today? Listen to this. Psalms chapter 94 and verse 16. Read. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? God said, who's going to rise up for him against the evildoers? Somebody done kidnapped his children. Somebody done enslaved his children. Right. He said, who's going to rise up for me against the evildoers? That's Read. right. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? He said, who's going to stand up for me for those that got my people committed sin? He ain't just talking about the white man. Because look around you. Our people love sin. They love wickedness. That's where they mind at. They mind ain't doing right. Matter of fact, give me that Mark 7, 21. They ain't mind. They, you know how people say, God know my heart. He know my heart. Well, guess what? You know what he else has said? Those that are mine hear my words, and they follow me. We going to these stores. The word of God is going out. Where are our people at? Where are Where they at? We are here for them. God sent his prophets out to awaken his children, to let them know that destruction is coming to America. Right. He's going to destroy this place, and he's trying to save one third. He said only one third of all the blacks and Spanish and Native Americans are going to survive. Two thirds got to get put to death. Why? Right. Why? They love the evil. They love wickedness. They love Christmas and Easter and Thanksgiving. They love Sunday worship. They you know? love this damn devil right here. Right. Period. Read. Mark chapter 7 and verse 21. Uh -huh. For from within, out of the heart of men. Out of the heart of men, see what? Proceed evil thoughts. So God said out of their heart. But they say, hey, you know God know my heart? Read that from the top again. From, for from within, out of the heart of men. Proceed evil thoughts. Uh huh. Adulteries. He said adulteries. Our people love committing adultery. They'll sleep with another man's wife. Hey, these women, they'll go sleep with somebody else's husband. They love doing that. Right. They make songs about it. Our people ain't nothing but some damn whoremongers. We fornication. Fornication. We're the biggest fornicators on this damn earth. Look what he just named first two adultery and fornication. We land up, look, fornication is sex without marriage. We all did it. Right. But guess what? We repented from that. When you come back to the most high, you gotta repent and turn away from these things. Read. Murders. Murder. Guess what? We out here killing each other like it ain't nothing. Right. And I'm gonna tell you something else. Christ made it even or Because he said if you hate your brother, that's murder. So all this hatred we got can't forgive one another, don't have love for one another. God said that's murder. We theft, covetousness. We covet. Look, we looking at our enemy and all we do is covet what they got. Right. You know what I'm saying? We'll sell each other drugs to cut to get these nice rims, to get that nice car. We know. We ain't never satisfied with what we got. We constantly coveting the things of the other nation. Wanting shit that we ain't, hey, got no business having. No business having. Free. Wickedness. Why, what do our people love? Wickedness. They love wickedness. They don't love righteousness. They don't love God's holy days, his feast days. They don't love his laws. They love the ways of the enemy. They love wickedness. Read. Deceit. Oh, damn, you know we got people love lying. You know they love lying. They can't stop lying all day long. Right. If they say they love God, they ain't got no answers behind it. They say they follow Christ, they Christians, but don't do a damn thing that Christ did. Nothing. They try to find an excuse, every excuse in the world to not follow Christ. Tell me he died, I'm saved by the blood of Jesus. Saved by the blood of Jesus. Jesus didn't die for you to be wicked as hell. Jesus died so he can redeem you back to the Father. A sacrifice had to be given for the nation to be saved. Or else the most I would have just put us all to death. Matter of fact, drop that. Give me um, Acts 5 and 30. I'm going to show you that Christ only came for us. That he only died for us. Read. Acts chapter 5 and verse 30. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Uh-huh. Him hath God exalted with his right hand. To be a what? To be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. No, to everybody. To Israel. All nations. To Israel. God only get Christ only died for the children of Israel. That's right. Understand that. 
He only died for you. How special does that make you? How special does that make you? God loves you that much that he sent his son to die for you. Give me that Deuteronomy 76. You got to realize how special you is, black man. The one the most high loves. Right. The one that he put up above all people on this earth. That's right. Read Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. God said he is a holy people unto us. We are holy people to him. You know what holy means? Holy means this right here. I'm going to separate you from everyone else. I'm going to separate you from everyone else. Read. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. He chose who? Thee. God chose us. The blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. We are the children of Israel. God chose us. Read. To be a special people. To be a what? Special people. I told you we're special, bro. We're very special. Read. Unto himself. Uh huh. Above all people. Now equal to all people. Above all people. We want to be equal to the people that's underneath us. That's a damn insult. He said, You're above them. Why are you trying to seek equality? I told you it's a slave on the loose. What? It's a slave on the loose. It ain't us, it's them. What? They're supposed to be your servants. They supposed to be your servants. Did you know that? Teach. Give me that Deuteronomy 21. These days, these nations was created to be your servants, not to be equal to you, not for you running around talking about I want to sit in front of the bus. Shit, the earth was created for us. Right. This whole land, this whole thing was created for us. That's right. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt not, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments. He said, if you do everything I command you to do, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. He said he's going to set us above all nations of the earth. That can't be right. Because what I went told was that we are all equal. That God loves everybody. Read that again. Because it can't be right. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Damn it. He said, I'm going to set y'all above all the nations of the earth. I'm going to put you in rulership. I'm going to make you kings of the earth. Right. That's what he promised to you, black man. Just follow my instructions. Just do what I command you. You know why he said this? Because what he gave you was the greatest wisdom on this earth. And think about this. Does God not know everything? Did he not create everything? When he shared that knowledge of wisdom with his children? Let me do the wrong before five. Do you not realize that? God said, I'm going to make my children be the rulers of these other nations. But for them to rule, they got to have some wisdom. You got to have wisdom. Before you get that, give me your, uh, I'll say four or five, four or six. Before you can do that, you got to have wisdom. Does the black man and woman got wisdom right now? Hell no. Hell no. We walking around calling ourselves by the name of two white men. We still walking around with the slave master's last name thinking we damn free. Right. He don't bring it your ass. Letting you know you steal my property. Williams, Smith, right up. Jefferson, you steal my property. After all these years. After all these years, you niggas are not free. We still own you. Right. You want to go somewhere? Ask for permission. You don't do what I say, I just scoop you up, lock you up, take you away. I don't care if we got a million cameras on it. I still say we're not guilty. What? You steal their property. It ain't a damn thing you can do about it. Watch up and down the street talking about no, hands up, no shit, no justice, no peace. Black lives matter. Yeah, black lives matter. Black lives ain't never matter to damn black people. We kill each other like it ain't nothing. Right up. We don't raise our children by the words of God. And we're going to say black lives matter? Right up. Hell, Israelite lives matter. That's, That's right. right. That's who God loves. 
the Israelites. He ain't never said I love goddamn black people. He said I love the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. He said, I sent my son to die for the children of Israel. Read. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. He said, my people, my people, which are the children of Israel, which are the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. What did we do? Rejected knowledge. We rejected the knowledge of this Bible. We rejected God's law. Read. I will also reject thee. God said you're going to do what? I will also reject thee. They go that trip, that one-way trip on them slave ships. We got rejected. He said, get the hell off my land. I'm tired of you. I'm sick of seeing you. I'm sick of calling you. Right. He rejected us. And then guess what? We got out over here and we were praying every day. Praying, please, Lord, help me. Please save me. He said, hell no. He rejected us. Matter of fact, give me that 515. He said, no, nope, I ain't hearing it. I ain't hearing you. Cry all day. Pray all day. Right. I ain't hearing you. Until you do one damn thing. Be obedient. Be obedient. Don't nobody like no disobedient children. Right. You ain't putting up with them. Why you think God gonna put up with you? Read. Hosea chapter 5 and verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Till they do what? Acknowledge their offense. Till they acknowledge their offense. He said, I'm going back home. I'm going to set the door, turn my back on you until you acknowledge your offense. Read. And seek my face in their affliction. In th their what? In their affliction. When you're getting shot down in the streets. When you're in slavery. When you're setting their crying saying, Lord Jesus, please. What? Lord Jesus, why you let this happen to me? Why? Why, oh Lord? He said, in your affliction, what? They will seek me early. They're going to do what? Seek me early. God said, I'm going to have to afflict you with some pain before you acknowledge me. What? He said, I'm going to just make you go through hell before you acknowledge me. How we went through hell on this earth. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody went through more hell than the black man. Right. No one. He said, so guess what? In your affliction, you're going to seek me early. Go back to where he was at. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, uh -huh. I will also reject thee. Read. That thou shalt be no priest to me. He said, we supposed to be the priest. We are a royal priesthood. Each and every man is called to be the priest of God. And he said, I'm going to take that from you. I'm going to make you serve a false Christ. I'm going to make you serve a false God. Read. See, thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. We destroyed because we forgot what? The law of thy God. We destroyed forgetting God's laws. That's the whole reason why we here. That's the whole reason why we catching hell on this earth because we don't want to follow God's law. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge uh -huh. because thou hast rejected knowledge. I don't want to hear it. I ain't got time. I got to go in this damn dollar store. Read. I will also reject thee. He'll do what? I will also reject thee. Uh huh. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Read. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. Read. I will also forget thy children. He'll do what? Forget thy children. Like mother, like daughter, both get put to death. Our children's born in captivity. Right. Our sons are born in captivity. You know. They die in these streets. Right. They down in these streets. They catch a hell all over the earth because why? The same mamas, the same daddies that say I love my children won't follow a simple commandment to do what God said. Give me to do that in Deuteronomy 6 and 1. Look what God told us to do for our children. We the same people that say we love our kids. We ready to fight, ready to shoot somebody for their children. Well hell, you God's children. Why you can't do what he said? Right. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 1. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you. Uh -huh. that, Read. that ye might do, that ye might do them in the land where ye go to possess it. So God said, I gave you law, statutes, and judgments. Jump down to verse 7. 
Verse 7, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. We're supposed to teach these laws, statutes, and commandments to who? Thy children. Uh-huh. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. So when you're around the house, guess what, black woman? You're supposed to be teaching your kids the laws, statutes, and commandments of God. Read. And when thou walkest by the way. When you're walking by the way, you're supposed to be teaching these the laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. And when thou liest down. And when you lying down, get ready to go to bed. Guess what? The last thing you should be talking to them about is these laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. Right. And when thou risest up. When they wake up in the morning, the first thing you should be talking about is these laws, statutes, and commandments. Because why? My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Give me Hosea 4 and 5. Get I mean, my fault. Do run me 4 and 5. Because these laws that you don't want to keep, these statutes and things that we don't want to do, we don't understand. This is the wisdom, the power to put us back in rulership of this earth. That's right. Guess what? These laws and commandments are supposed to be like gold to you. Right. They're supposed to be more valuable than anything on this earth. Because why? It's the answer to your salvation. Right. It's the answer to all our problems. That's right. Wouldn't you go out there and do everything you got? So you can get rulership on this earth? These are the laws that the commandments. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, read, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Read. Keep therefore and do them. He said, keep these laws, statutes, commandments, and do them. Read. For this is your wisdom. This is your what? Your wisdom. This is your what? Your wisdom. The black man been destroyed because he lacks wisdom. He don't know God's laws. Read. And your understanding in the sight of the nation. So guess what? These nations look at us now and they shake their heads. They look at these niggas. Just look at them. These are the kings of the earth. Look how far they don't fail. Look how far they don't fail. Begging for dimes, begging for quarters, begging for food. In the ghettos, in the slums, right. being baby mamas, right. being old feminine ass black men, right walking up. around with skinny jeans on. Right. We don't fail. We was the gods of this earth. Right. Look how far we don't fail as a people. We ought to be ashamed of ourselves. We ought to be ashamed if we don't sit there and say, you know what? I need to do everything in my power to reverse that. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth